Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is lesson two. This time, of course, we'll focus on a single most important thing, how to get out that single note. Once you achieve that on a regular basis, you get out single notes clearly. Well, you can play the note of it and you can do anything with that after that. Uh, let's see how we can achieve that. There are two ways of doing this. One is by puckering your lips. Now, I have a pretty common chromatic tower harmonica here. Let's see how generally, you know, when you a beginner starts, what does he do? How does he play? So multiple sounds are coming out, okay? But we have to get that single note. Let's say we want to get that note do in the middle octave or wherever. Sa. That's a single note. That's how you play the single note. Now, how do you achieve this? There are two ways, as I said before. One is by puckering your lips. Most of you can whistle. So, <laughs> try and whistle and try to get that note probably on the ninth hole. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was whistling, maybe. <laughs> anyway, so what we have done by puckering our lips and, you know, making our lips as if, you know, we're going to whistle, we are blocking out the sounds from the nearby holes. When you do not block the sounds from the nearby holes, you get multiple, you know, sounds coming out from those holes. Of course, this is a blue note. Okay. Now, as I stop puckering, multiple notes are going to come out. Pucker. Start whistling on the mouth only. <laughs> Jokes apart, but yeah, you, you can do that. Okay, so that's called puckering. That's one technique. <clears throat> now, the other technique, and that's what I use. I mean, in fact, there are two schools of thoughts out here. I mean, uh, even experienced mouth organists, you know, they pucker most of the time and achieve a lot. They're beautiful music. The other way is by tongue blocking. You can achieve the same thing by tongue blocking the other holes. For example, here again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm puckering. Now I'm going to tongue block. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the my tongue and block all the holes on the left hand side. And from one part only the ninth hole I'll be blowing. So again, I'll achieve the same effect. Let's see. It, it's slightly more difficult, of course. Let's see how we can achieve this. So these are the two methods. Practice the single uh, notes. Uh, try to get out the
Yeah, so practice the single notes regularly so that you know you can play a full octave and again down do re mi fa sol la ti do uh, reverse it and once you achieve that well you have achieved a lot that is in fact the first step now i'll go into something else uh, how do you hold the mouth organ uh, to be honest when you when you start up you can hold it whichever way you want to uh, as i had said in my first lesson uh, but uh, generally what we do is of course the lower notes will be on the left side if it's a chromatic mouth organ you will know where the higher notes are because you have this slider scale changer as we used to call it when we were kids so you can hold the mouth organ like this okay and why do we do that obviously so that you know the sound can come come out uh and we don't block it this is not the right way of holding a mouth organ until unless you want to get some special effects but we do this so that you know we can get a vibratory effect whenever it's needed a tremolo effect whatever you call it okay i'll show you it'll be pretty evident so that's the reason why we generally cup our hands and with the other hand with the right hand you know whenever it's required we uh, vibrate so that you know that there's uh, the tremolo effect comes out and the sound the note sounds beautiful and to give it that special effect okay that's it now get that single note out once you achieve that we'll go for the next step Okay thank you so much uh if you like this please do press the like button and the subscribe button thank you bye